Invasive species for free. Let's go. We're gonna learn about invasive species. Yeah, we're really gonna learn about invasive species. Sorry, I got a little excited there, but we are gonna learn about invasive species. An invasive species is a species added into a new environment that probably didn't just get there naturally on its own. It was probably carried in by humans or other organisms. They can be plants or animals. They can be on land or in water. They can even be tiny little microbes. But they're invasive because they invade the territory of naturally occurring species. And they're often hard to control because they may not have any natural predators. Take a look at this invasive species. At first, this picture might look like a group of trees. But if you look closely, it's actually what used to be trees and now they're covered in ivy. The ivy is taking over harming the tree's ability to grow. Not all non-native plants are invasive, but these invaders can cause harm in an ecosystem by eating up food supply and making it harder for the native species to compete for nutrients. Sometimes the invasive species can just totally take over and wipe out the original native species. Ohio, like most states, has lots of invasive species. Like, have you seen one of these? Wild hogs started showing up in Ohio in the 1980s. They like to eat crops, and they like to dig for roots. That's really becoming a problem for farmers. They can totally demolish a crop field. Ohio has quite a few invasive plants, too. Plants like shrub honeysuckle and kudzu. And garlic mustard. Those are just a few of many that are making it hard for the native species to compete. There are even invasive insects that have found their way to Ohio from other places. Insects like emerald ash borer that's killing our ash trees. Asian longhorned beetle. Or the gypsy moth. And plenty of others are on the list. And how about invasive water animals? Are you familiar with any of these? The zebra mussel. The round goby fish. A grass carp. And the sea lamprey. Those were all brought to Ohio from other places, and they're becoming invasive. Even fungi and tiny little microbes can become invasive and cause an ecosystem to be out of balance. Things like Dutch elm disease and chestnut blight are taking down trees. But a non-native species isn't always harmful or invasive, but it sure can throw an ecosystem out of balance. That's why ecologists keep track of them and try to control them and keep them from becoming invasive in the first place. That's why we want to do everything we can to help the ecologists with their plan. Or else it might be game over. For a lot of the native species we've become used to. And that would just be sad. And speaking of sad, I think the band and I are going to hit the road. Peace out. I'm going to rock this town like an invasive species.